Okay, this video is about how integration techniques undo derivative rules. For example, if we have f of x is x to the sixth power, then the derivative of f of x is 6x to the fifth power by what we call the power rule. And that means, because derivatives undo integrals, that the integral of 6x to the fifth dx is x to the sixth plus c, which we also call the power rule, I believe. Yeah, the standard rule for undoing a, an integral is you raise the power by 1, x to the sixth over 6, and the 6 is cancel out. Uh, okay, let's talk about if g of x is the sine of x cubed. Then the derivative of that is, well, we're going to have to use the chain rule. And the chain rule says the derivative of the sine of something is the cosine of that something times the derivative of that something is just 3x squared. And that means that the integral of cosine of x cubed times 3x squared dx is going to be the sine of x cubed plus a constant. And to undo the chain rule, we use u substitution. If you were just given this, uh, you would probably say set u equal to x cubed, du equals 3x squared dx, this becomes the du, this becomes cosine of u, and so on. Now today we're going to talk about what happens when you have something like h of x is x squared sine of x. The derivative is going to be, we use the product rule. And the product rule <clears throat> says, let's see, the derivative of the first times the second one left alone plus the first one left alone times the derivative of the second. And this says that the integral of 2x sine of x plus x squared cosine of x dx is going to be x squared sine of x plus c. We can't integrate these things separately. We can't say that this is what? 2x squared over 2 times cosine of x plus x cubed over 3, uh, or this would be negative cosine x, times the sine of x. It doesn't work. So, what we need is something that undoes the product rule, and it's called integration by parts. And that will be the next video.